Natalia turned everything pink last week. And in this paddock, I found one rider who's a huge cycling fan. He's also one of the most recognizable road racers around. You may have seen him building boats on the BBC or breaking world records in his own television show, but I caught up with Guy Martin simply out for a ride on his bike. Guy, welcome back to Northern Ireland, to the Northwest 200. Uh, how much do you enjoy coming to road race here? Oh, I love it. I love it. Road racing in Northern Ireland. Yeah, I love it. Never won a Northwest 200. Is this your year? <laughs> never won a Northwest 200. No, I, I am. Never. I am. Um, <laughs> never won a Northwest 200. I know. I know. Um, it's hard. To, it's hard one to answer. I think that question gets asked every year. Although, you know, I never finish a race thinking, uh, oh, I could have tried a bit out of there, or I should have done this, should have done that. I always give it my all. Um, and if I don't win, then my all's not enough, is it? I know you prefer it low-key, but yeah. how do you handle your newfound fame with all the television programmes you make when you come and try and concentrate on, on what you do best, and that is road racing? Um, yeah, I struggle. I struggle, I struggle. Even in the pit lane, can you just can you just sign this? Can you sign that? I'm not a rude person, so I don't tell anyone to do one. I don't, I'm not a rude person, and I try and have time for, but not everyone because you can't have time for everyone. But I always try and give someone, you know, just yeah, I'll sign it and try and have a few words. But you just it's just getting harder and harder because there's getting more and more, more and more attention. And I'm I struggle with that. I struggle with that. But I make a rod for my own back. I'm the one that makes these TV programs. Well, I don't actually make the TV. I do these TV programs. So. Is it difficult for you to actually find time and concentrate solely on motorcycle racing? Can can you find the time to give it your full commitment that you would like to? When I'm fixing my trucks, you know that's what that, that's, me, my head's in that space. And when I'm making TV programs, my head's in that space. And when I'm racing motorbikes, my head's in that space. So th there's no overlap, not not really. So you tell me what more I could be doing. You know, I'm here for the for the week at the office, Jordan. What more could I be doing than actually be? It's not like. I finish practicing, then have to go back to work, and then come back. It's not. I'm here. I'm, I'm here for the week to concentrate on on doing well at the North West 200. Cycling, not motorcycling. Actual cycling. I know you're out in your mountain bike a lot. 100 mile a week, 200 mile a week, 300 mile a week, and then the more racing I've done, the more I've got into it, and I feel like it purges the system. You know, like you've got a lot of stuff on your shoulder, whether it's pressure from work or pressure from racing or pressure. You go out and you push bike, you get out of breath, you do a lot of sweating. And, you, and when you, you you go home, you have a cup of tea, and you just think, oh, just to purge the system. I, I, I love it. I love it. You should have turned up a few days earlier for the Giro d'Italia here in Northern Ireland, which went down an absolute storm. Yeah, every, everyone was right, isn't it? The weather wasn't so kind to you, was it? The weather wasn't so kind. Um, yeah, but I love it. I mean, you can say what you want about road races or motor GP races. For me, cycling, that's the toughest sport in the world. Whether you take the Gyro, the Vuelta, the Tour de France, they're the toughest boys in the world when it comes to you just like the the mental and physical torture they have to put themselves through. And as long as you're road racing, we will always see you here in Northern Ireland. Yeah, yeah. So as long as I'm racing motorbikes, I'll be racing motorbikes.